Hey, this is Brad, and I want to talk, uh, have a conversation about taxes today and just look at tax brackets and how things are taxed. I talk an awful lot about taxes, and I thought that I would just um, look at my tax sheet that I look at quite a bit and go over that um, so that you can get an idea of what the actual tax brackets are, okay? Uh, so, let's look at that. So, what what I want to look at here today is I want to look at um, we're going to look at talk about retirement accounts briefly and then about how those retirement accounts are taxed. All right. So so we've talked about them many times. You got three different types of accounts. You've got taxable. OK. Tax as you go. You've got tax deferred. So your TSP, I, traditional IRAs, 401ks, 403bs. Then you have income tax free, which are your Roth TSP, Roth 401k, Roth IRA. All right. We're, we won't be talking about the Roth TSP, Roth IRA. They do have some rules there that you have to take it depending on when you take the money out. Um, but generally speaking, money that comes out of there is income tax free. All right. So you've got um, taxable accounts. Okay. Taxable accounts are taxed one of two ways, either as taxable income or capital gains, all right? And then if you hold stocks or stock mutual funds, you could get qualified dividends from those stocks and stock mutual funds that qualify um, for these rates as well. So what are the rates? The rates are 0%, 15%, and 20%, all right? most federal employees are going to be in these two right here. And if you are, you can see the brackets right here. If you are single and you have income, taxable income up to 41,675 or married filing joint, taxable income up to 83,350. Okay. Then you qualify for the 0% tax rate. Um, 0% doesn't get much better, right? Um, so if you are, and this is most often going to happen to people that are in retirement already. Um, but if you're in retirement and you have taxable income, you know, say you're married and you have taxable income here and you have a brokerage account with appreciated assets, well, you may want to do some tax gain harvesting. Um, say your, say your, uh, taxable income 70,000, you may want to harvest 13,000 of gains to take advantage of this 0% and then reinvest that money. Um, and have a new new step up in basis. So then now how do you qualify for the capital gains? As long, I, I hope I mentioned this. If not, you have to hold stocks or the um, stocks or the funds, whatever it is you're holding. Um, it, it can be a, a, you know, something physical. It can be a house, a piece of property. You have to hold it for 12 months. Okay. So you have to hold that asset for 12 months to qualify for the capital gains right here, of zero to 20%. All right. Now let's move down here to um, let's move down here to income tax rates. Okay. So this is what I talk about an awful lot, and this is a graduated scale okay the one above there it's wherever your income is is where you fall you either pay zero percent 15 or 20. here income tax rates if you're a single taxpayer on your income of zero to ten thousand 10,275 you pay 10 percent okay you go up to the next one on your income of 10,000 to 41,775 you pay 12 percent okay Remember when I was young, I was in college working construction this summer, and I had people tell me that um, the guys that I was working with say, uh, I, I don't want to work overtime. I work overtime. It kicks me up in the next tax bracket, and then they take, they take half my paycheck. Uh, that's just simply not true. Okay? Um, you, that doesn't happen. Let's say that that person was single and they were, you know, they go from one tax bracket to another. Well, they go from the 22% bracket up to the 24% bracket, and they only pay 24% on the amount over the 89,075. Okay, this amount here of 89,170,000. So, 
That's how that works, okay? And this is single, this is married filing joint, all right? So you can see, um, see the differences here, the way the tax brackets work. 12%, 20,000 of income, up to 83,550 if you're married filing joint. Um, 22%, I talk to an awful lot of federal employees. Most federal employees I talk to are gonna be in these three tax brackets right here, okay? Anywhere from the 12%, most of them while they're still working are in the 22 to 24% tax brackets, okay? Some might be in 12% once they're retired, especially if they retire early and they delay taking Social Security. Um, there may be a per period of time where people just have their first annuity and they're in the 12% tax bracket. If that's the case, you probably should do some tax planning. Um, I, I've got other videos and articles talking about things that you can do there. Um, so that's, that's really all I want to cover here with this video. Uh, just show people what the income tax rates look, look like. This is taxable income, okay? When you're looking at taxes, you're going to have a number of different things. You're going to hear of AGI. You're going to hear of Maggie. Maggie is modified adjusted gross income, which applies toward IRMA surcharges. It applies toward, there's different Maggies as well that apply to different things. Uh, AGI, Maggie, taxable income, okay? Those are the main three. But um, want to give you this as a reference. Hope that that helps. Okay. Thanks, guys.